13 Cool Facts About Pomeranians If you had to describe a Pomeranian in one word, it would undoubtedly be fluffball, don't you think? Fluffy, soft, little cuties. These tiny guys are undeniably adorable. There is a lot to discover about Pomeranians, including their royal past and wide range of colors. If you have a lovely little palm, you'll be aware that they are playful, incredibly intelligent, entertaining, and, of course, fluffy. If you don't know much about Pomeranians, continue reading to learn about their distinctive characteristics. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. Number 1. They sometimes think they're a larger dog. No one would ever say a Pomeranian dog is scared. Similar to other small dog breeds, they likely see themselves as much bigger than their actual size. Not realizing the disparity in size when next to larger dogs such as a German Shepherd. While this behavior may be entertaining, it is important to remember that encouraging dog confrontations is never a good idea. If your palm freezes in front of any dog, big or small, remove it and attempt to soothe it. The longing to engage in conflicts and serve as an excellent guard dog can also apply to a Pomeranian's interactions with people. If you inquired about the compatibility of Pomeranians with children, we would affirm that they are indeed good with kids. However, it is important to ensure that the children do not bother the dog excessively and that they are supervised by an adult at all times. The advantage of the dog being small is that it will not intimidate a child and can be easily picked up. However, like other small dogs, Pomeranians are also fragile due to their size. Ensure you train your dog to remain calm in these situations to the best of your ability. Number 2. Queen Victoria owned 35 Pomeranian pups, although the Pomeranian appears modern. Its popularity today can be attributed in part to its historical association with the royal family, making it a surprising but understandable fact. During her visit to Florence in 1888, the notoriously strict Queen Victoria became enamored with a tiny Auburn Pomeranian, leading her to fully embrace the fluffy Pomeranian lifestyle. A hundred years before, Queen Consort Charlotte, who was Victoria's granddaughter, also had Pomeranians. As the Queen of England, Victoria had the power to obtain anything she wanted. In a short amount of time, she acquired four Pomeranians, a red sable named Marco, in honor of the Italian explorer Marco Polo, a white female named Gina, and two others. It is rumored that she once had a total of 35 dogs in the royal kennels. In 1901, Victoria passed away, but not before making a specific request for her beloved Pomeranian Turi to be beside her. This intense adoration for the breed greatly contributed to the world's love for the Pomeranian. In the United States, it consistently ranks among the top 20 most favored dog breeds. Number 3. They have two separate coats of fur. A Pomeranian is classified as a dog with two layers of fur. This just means that it has fur on the inside as well as fur on the outside. The undercoat, also known as the inner layer, insulates the palm during winter and summer by consisting of short, dense, and soft fur that is shed as needed. The palm's coat has an outer layer of long guard hairs that are coarse and may protrude. As the dog moves from puppyhood to adulthood, its puppy fur will shed quickly while its adult fur grows back slowly, resulting in a period where it may have patchy and uneven fur, commonly known as an ugly stage. Number 4. They come in more colors than any other dog. Pomeranian puppies are born in a stunning variety of colors. They are available in a variety of colors such as black and tan, white, brown, cream, red, blue, brown and tan, party, brindle, merle, black and lavender. With around 25 different colors, this breed of dog is actually the most vibrant among all other breeds. Furthermore, Pomeranian puppies may begin their lives with one color and later develop different colors as they grow older. Number 5. 
They're a bit tricky to train. There exist numerous variations of Pomeranians, each possessing their unique traits and characteristics. However, if you own a Pomeranian, you will understand that they are determined creatures who are independent thinkers. This can make training them slightly more challenging than training a typical dog. However, it is highly probable. Mature Pomeranians possess the cognitive abilities of a young child and definitely have the capability to pick up behaviors. Utilize a strong tone, incorporate enjoyment, and persist without surrendering. Number 6. Pomeranians are from, well, Pomerania O course. What is the origin of Pomeranians? Even though they are originally from Iceland, they are mostly said to come from a region in Central Europe, located north of Germany and Poland, charmingly known as Pomerania. This is not where they were born, but rather where they were effectively raised. Number 7. Pomeranians once pulled sleds and herded reindeer. Yes, it's hard to believe, but it's true. Pomeranians were originally trained to pull sleds and round up reindeer before they were bred into their current smaller size. It may be hard to understand unless you are aware that Pomeranians are in fact spitz dogs that share close ancestry with breeds like Huskies, Malamutes, Samoyeds, and Akitas, all originating from Arctic regions. Number 8. The oldest Pomeranian was 21 years old. By taking good care of your Pomeranian, it has the potential to live up to 21 years, as seen with the famous Cody who died in 2016, but typically, they usually live around 16 years. This extended lifespan is reliant on providing top-notch care for your Pomeranian. This breed may be prone to health issues such as hypoglycemia, hip dysplasia, dysticiasis, and Cushing's disease. On top of your pet insurance, a wellness package for your dog can include regular vet visits and vaccinations. Number 9. Pomeranians can give birth to twins. In contrast to humans, twins are very uncommon in dogs. With 2016 marking the first recorded instance of a dog giving birth to identical twins, Pomeranians, on the other hand, are more likely than average to have twin Pomeranian puppies, although the reason for this is unclear. If this is considered positive or negative news will be determined by the amount of Pomeranians you desire in your life. Number 10. Two Pomeranians survived the sinking of the Titanic. A total of 12 dogs were on board the Titanic when it went down. Only three dogs made it through, with two being Pomeranians. One of the lifeboats was occupied by Elizabeth Rothschild, who insisted on bringing her dog with her before boarding. Lady, owned by Margaret Beckstein Hayes, was wrapped in blankets and taken onto lifeboat number seven. Number 11. In fact, Queen Victoria made them smaller. We're not saying she physically made them smaller, but historical evidence indicates that Pomeranians used to be larger and were even used as sheep herders. The queen deliberately bred them to be smaller because she preferred the petite variety, which became her favorite version of the breed. Since the 1800s, Pomeranians have reportedly decreased in size by around 50% and weight, with adults now typically weighing about 6 pounds or less. To maintain an appropriate weight for your Pomeranian, it's important to make sure you are feeding them correctly. Take a look at our pals over at Dog Food Advisor for helpful information on what to feed your furry friend, including top dog food choices for small breeds like Pomeranians. Number 12. But blue Pomeranians aren't actually blue. A blue dog. That would be spectacular, but disappointingly, a blue Pomeranian isn't classified as such because of the color of their fur. Instead, a blue Pomeranian is distinguished by the color of his nose. Blue Poms have dull black fur and noses with a bit of blue coloring on them. They may sometimes have blue eyes as well. Number 13. Lots of famous people have owned Pomeranians. Throughout history, many notable people have selected a Pomeranian as their companion. 
Martin Luther, Michelangelo, President Theodore Roosevelt, Elvis, Charles Darwin, and Mozart all owned a Pomeranian. Mozart dedicated an aria to his dog Pimperl. Martin Luther wrote about Belferline. Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel with a Pomeranian on a satin pillow nearby. The amount of paint splashed onto the dog or pillow by the artist is not mentioned in history. Thanks for watching.